Hey class, welcome to week two. This week we talk about attitudes, personality, um, and how those affect the way we behave in the workplace. Um, I wanted to check in to give you an example. Um, you'll see some examples as you watch the Big Five personality video as well as uh, read the uh, assigned articles for the week. Um, However, um, I want to just share with you a little bit about personality. Um, so I don't believe that you're just born with your personality. I think it develops over time. I think that your personality can change based off your experiences, your values, um, the people you surround yourself with. Um, I think that you always have some core components of your personality, but I think that those evolve and change as as we grow and change as well. Um, one of the examples I wanted to give you is um, I lived in Columbus, Ohio for about three to four years. Um, before that, I lived in Pittsburgh for 11 years. Um, I grew up in Pittsburgh and Johnson, PA, which are both rough towns. They were part of the steel industry, very sports oriented towns, uh, very blue collar, labor towns. Um, the town of Columbus, Ohio was not like that when I moved there. Um, and when I did move there, I was in a supervisor role. So my personality really, I wouldn't say clashed, but was hard to understand for some of my uh, people I was leading. I was very blue collarish. So I said what I thought, what I felt. I was uh, very to the point. Um, and, um, I think that came from the, um, the Pittsburgh part of me being like a very blue collar, um, old soul of, uh, abrupt, uh, language and not unhealthy language, but just, uh, you know, not being soft about something, but being very stern and, um, attentive in the way that I spoke. And sometimes that could be interpreted differently by different people. Um, and it could be taken as aggressive or um, very demanding or um, intimidating. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm intimidating at first. Um, but then once they get past that rough exterior that I'm easy to talk to, that uh, I'm actually warm, and that's something that I've known about my personality. Um, and so knowing and understanding the context that I was now leading in, leading in a new city that wasn't particular blue collar-ish, um, wasn't a steel industry city um, full of, you know, uh, the history of... Um, the industrial uh, collapse and um, the Great Johnstown Flood, um, I was able to understand how my personality could affect my behaviors in the workplace or other people's behaviors based off of how they were interpreting uh, the way that I talked or communicated. And so being aware of that helped me to navigate how to better talk with my employees or to avoid um, um, issues of tension or conflict uh, by just altering the way that I delivered messages. And I think that's important because sometimes we have to change our behaviors based off the context. And it's not a substantial personality change, but it's, it's a, a way that we might deliver something to be more effective in our roles. And so I just wanted to share that, uh, that example with you. I hope that you all enjoy uh, the big five personality tests this week, um, you know, and, and learning more about it. Um, feel free to reach out should you have any questions and uh, we'll talk soon.